Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. All aboard, let's go. We're back at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. This time, we're here to explore the Boulder Ridge Villas. Follow me. The Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge is located at the Walt Disney World Resort near the Magic Kingdom Resort area on Bay Lake. The Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge is a Disney Vacation Club resort adjacent to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. There are 181 Vacation Club villas themed to lodgings built by workers on the Transcontinental Railroad in the late 19th century in the Pacific Northwest. The main building for the villas has railroad artwork and memorabilia on display including two train cars from Walt Disney's rideable miniature Carrollwood Pacific Railroad. Fun fact! Did you know there are several hidden Mickeys to discover in the atrium? There's the main building at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, the Boulder Ridge Villas, the Boulder Ridge Cove Pool Area, the Copper Creek Villas, the Cascade Cabins, Bay Lake, and the boat transportation. Let's go into the main building by going through these double sets of double doors into the main lobby. And here we are in the magnificent Disney's Wilderness Lodge lobby. And over to the right hand side is the reception area for check-in. Next door is the Bell Services desk and just behind that is the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile. Let's go over there. There's even a hot springs inside the lobby. Here's where the Copper Creek Springs begins and heads down to the pool area. Wilderness Lodge Mercantile Let's go inside and see if they have any fun t-shirts. Look at this little shirt for Junior Explorers. It says, take a hike. They also have Logged Out, All Good in the Woods, and Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Let's see how much this one is. And it's $39.99. And there's this Wilderness Lodge polo with the logo on it. Let's see how much this one is. And it's $44.99. Let's take another quick look before we go through this doorway here. And make a right and go through those sliding doors. And over to the right hand side is the Buttons and Bells Game Arcade. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's go through these doors here. There's a large assortment of video games here. Let's go back outside the doors we just came in and make a right around the corner. And walk down this ramp here towards the Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, a Disney Vacation Club resort. If we were to head down this pathway here, it'd take us down to the Walt Disney World bus transportation. There's even a running trail here. Let's head down this covered walkway down to the doors. There's even benches and rocking chairs where you could enjoy views of the wilderness. Welcome home members and all guests. Here we are at the Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Let's go through the second sliding door here. And now we're inside the atrium. Would you take a look at this impressive rustic structure with the birdcage just down below? Over to the left hand side is Sturdy Branches Health Club. Let's take a little peek see through the window to see the workout equipment. There's comfortable sitting areas everywhere I look in this atrium. Here's the plush sitting area on the opposite side. And I think we just found our first hidden Mickey. If we look down in the left hand corner, there it is. There's also three additional hidden Mickeys located in each of the corners of this painting. Here's the fireplace where you could sit and relax. But if you look just overhead, there's also a hidden Mickey up there. There's the hidden Mickey there between the ripe berries moon and the harvest moon. If we go in for a closer look near the ingle nook, we could also see a, an additional hidden Mickey in the stone right up there. There's also an assortment of animals carved into the timber beams just over our heads. Look at the bird and the beaver. 
and the deer and the bear. Here's a bird and a snake. But upon closer inspection, there's a hidden Mickey. Straight ahead are the doors we came through earlier, but if we make a left just around this corner, here's the old phone room. There's only a house phone located in here now. But if we look just down below, there's a hidden Mickey in the stone there. There's the fireplace again, but over to the left hand side is a cabinet with some train memorabilia. They even have an engineer's hat and a conductor's hat. Around the corner are some restrooms. Down this hallway will take you out to the pool area, but we'll see that in a moment. And over to the right hand side are drinking fountains and the train room. On the stone wall is a plaque that represents Walt Disney's Carrollwood and Pacific Fairweather Route rideable scale model train. That leather rocking chair sure looks comfortable, and in the background, there's more train items. There's books representing national parks, a train lantern, and even an old-timey camera. Walt Disney's Railroad Story. I'd highly recommend checking out this book if you could find a copy in print. Carrollwood Pacific Train Cars, circa 1950. Before the Disneyland Railroad existed, there was the Carrollwood Pacific a miniature 1-8 scale steam railroad Walt Disney designed for his family home in Los Angeles. These original freight cars, built by the first Disney Imagineer Roger Brogy, brought great joy to Walt and anyone who visited his 5-acre property on Carrollwood Drive. On the left hand side is Roger Brogy, the machinist who built the Lily Bell. Here's the blueprint, or schematic, of the locomotive. Engineer for a day. Walt Disney poses with the Grizzly Flats Railroad crew at the home and animator of longtime railroad buff Ward Kimball, just to the right hand side of Walt. Here's a scale model railroad representing the Lily Bell, Flat Car, and the Caboose. Walt Disney's Magical Barn. Barns played an important role in the life of Walt Disney. From the time he was a young farm boy in Marceline, Missouri, where he produced his first show in his family's barn, a circus for the kids in the neighborhood to his Carrollwood Pacific Railroad barn at his home in Holmby Hills, California. His happy place was always a simple barn. There's even a few tables where you can play some board games with your family and friends. Around the corner is an additional sitting area with a nice oil painting above. And on the opposite side is a transcontinental railroad map representing the villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Complete with Mickey, Goofy and Donald. There's the sliding doors we came through earlier and up on the left hand side is a map for the Boulder Ridge Villas. And on the other side is a reception desk. Let's head towards the elevators and see if there are any additional hidden Mickeys to discover. And there are right down there. There's one just below the elevator button. And there's another one above the elevator button. If we look over to the right hand side, here's a third one. And finally, if we go over to the left hand side and lift up this railroad tapestry, there's a fourth hidden Mickey right there. Let's go check out the interior guest room hallways. Let's hit the button for the fourth floor. If we make a left, it'll take us over to the atrium where we can look down below, see a sitting area on the second floor, and that fireplace with the hidden Mickey. If you look overhead, there are even more additional hidden Mickeys just down this hallway. And here's the room door entry and the room number plaque. Now let's head down to the ground level and check out the Boulder Ridge Cove pool area. Let's go out the elevator here and make a left and make our way down through the atrium again. On the right is the train room again, and we're gonna make a jog over to the left. Let's head down this hallway and out that sliding door there to the Boulder Ridge Cove pool area. And we're gonna go through this sliding door here. Please use magic band or card to enter. Down below is the zero depth entry pool, and just off in the background are the Boulder Ridge Villas. And off in this direction are the Copper Creek Villas in the background. Boulder Ridge Railway and mining company, Derek. Everywhere you look, there's mining equipment. And down below is the infinity pool. Take a look at this mining themed cabana structure. There's also plenty of lounge chairs to rest and relax. 
And here's the Whirlpool Spa for the grown-up explorers. Here's complimentary life preservers for the junior explorers. Now let's go out this door here. Up ahead is the water tower, but we're gonna go over to our right-hand side, down to the Cascade Cabins. Let's head down this pathway to check out the barbecue pavilions and the sport court. Here's the address, and just off in the distance is a Cascade Cabin. Down below are animal tracks. Here's a fork in the road. If you go over to the right-hand side, it'll lead back to the Boulder Ridge Villas. But we're gonna continue down this pathway here, straight ahead. Here's another look at a Cascade Cabin. This time it's 8016. Just over to the right-hand side is the Spitfire Flats Barbecue Pavilion. Off in the distance is Bay Lake. Here's another Cascade Cabin. This time it's 8026. And there's a pathway that leads over to the left-hand side. Let's go down there. We've reached the end of the trail. Now let's reverse our direction and head over to the Cypress Courts. Follow me. Here's 8026 again. Let's have a closer look. Here's the sidewalk that leads up to the room door entry and the room number plaque. When you have guests, they could even ring the doorbell and take off their shoes by sitting on the bench. Near 8025 is a pathway that heads off in this direction. It goes to the cabin parking. Let's go see that real quick. Up ahead is the private parking lot for the Cascade Cabins. Over to the right hand side is another barbecue pavilion and off in the distance is the Cypress Courts. Let's go see that. You could even play a game of Foursquare and basketball here at the Sport Court. Playing at nighttime and need lights? No problem. There's a timer for the overhead lights. It's time now to head back to the Boulder Ridge Cove Pool area. Let's go. This pathway will take us down to the Boulder Ridge Villas again. Here's rolling stock with boulders in it. Down below are train tracks that go to the other side. And here's another train car. These railroad tracks extend past Reunion Station and go down towards Bay Lake. There's the water tower again. And just behind it is the Teton boat and bike rental. Let's go over there where you could rent bikes and watercraft to go fishing in Bay Lake to catch largemouth bass, bluegill, catfish, and even sunfish. Here's where you pick up your life preserver. The railroad tracks extend all the way down to the marina and boat dock. And on the opposite side is Reunion Station where you could play a game of foosball, table tennis, and even a game of pool. And here's a quick look at the backside of Geyser Point Bar and Grill. Let's have a closer look. And here's the Geyser Point quick service dining experience. Let's see what's on the menu. Entrees include a bison bacon cheeseburger, a grilled portobello salad with steak, a roasted salmon, a smoked turkey sandwich, and a grilled portobello salad. And over to the right hand side is the Rapid Fill refillable drink mug and beverage station. Just around the corner is a fire pit for the cozy evenings. And off in the distance is the Fire Rock Geyser. There's the peaceful and relaxing Bay Lake. And off in the distance is the boat transportation. Let's go over there. And here's a quick look at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And down below is the Copper Creek Springs pool area. If we make a left here, it'll take us down to the Cascade Cabins, 8001 to 8012. Over to the left-hand side is Disney's Wilderness Lodge exterior room balconies, and up ahead are the Cascade Cabins. It seems like this pathway just keeps going on for Niles and Niles. Here's a quick look at 8012, and over to the right-hand side, is the way we just came through. Let's go back there and check out the boat transportation. On the far end is the boat dock. Let's go see that. Over on the left hand side is the entrance for the red flag to Disney's Magic Kingdom. And on the opposite side, it's the blue flag to go to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground and Disney's Contemporary Resort. If you look carefully, you could just catch a glimpse of the monorail. On the other side of this island is the Seven Seas Lagoon. Let's head back to the Boulder Ridge Cove pool area. 
there's that mine car again. And over to the right hand side are the Copper Creek Villas. There's the Boulder Ridge Villas again. And let's continue walking off to the right hand side towards the main lobby. We're gonna go up those steps there and head back up this ramp into the main building by going through this sliding door here. Over to the left hand side is the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile again. But let's continue walking around the corner to the left and head out these doors here to go back outside. We're back. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.